Hi everybody, welcome back. So today my goal is just a quick video to show the final end of my watch stand and box and display box stand, whatever you want to call it, design. As we left off last time, I had this design made. This was based off of this I found on Thingiverse, but except instead of teeth and no limit, I've got tab and slot to limit it and a spring that actually pushes it outward. The thing that was wrong with this is apparently obvious is I'm thinking about using the box as a stand so I didn't need all this height here. So my goal was to shorten this and I also had a problem that I could not find this spring again. I could find the exact, almost the exact same one, same length, same wire gauge, but it was slightly smaller in diameter so I narrowed these pins down and then I made this one and it has the narrower pins and the lower height still works the same and then I made one even slightly lower than that to account for the thickness of some of these silicone watch bands and then my next goal was box this is done now my next goal was box and before I took to designing my own box I thought you know what let's go to Thingiverse and see what we can find and I found this and I think this is just a really cool little box a lot of credit to the guy who designed it and I'll put a link to the original and to the original this in the sections below because they do deserve credit for their work I'm starting to think I should make a series of videos on cool things I found and printed off Thingiverse because you'll see things something really cool that's been on there for a year and it has like four makes and that's a shame because some of these people are talented and obviously put a lot of time in this this box I like because it prints assembled which isn't I've seen a sent box hinged boxes that print assembled before it's nothing that unusual but this one prints with no support as long as this distance here and this distance here are the same your lid will come down and be even with the bottom and then it will print with no support and you just kind of slide your knife in between the lid and the box and kind of tweak it and it'll pop right loose now your printer has to be reasonably well adjusted but I mean I haven't really adjusted my older Ender 3 for for quite a while and it's printing it without a problem it also has a, a little if you can see it a little dimple right here and a little for want of a better term a little tit right here so you get this snap action as it opens and closes and I like that these print really quick it's a really great little design plus he provided his 3d file with it he provided a um, a FreeCAD file with it now I don't use FreeCAD and I didn't want to learn it but I could export into FreeCAD would export into a file that would then let me import into Fusion 360. I don't have the design history, but it's still a lot easier to do than trying to work with an STL. So, this was my first attempt to make it bigger. And I made a couple mistakes. I didn't remember to widen the hinge out here, so I kind of have this um I kind of have this open area at either end where the hinge there is no hinge element. But other than that, it's just it, um, and I'm still using my old rolls of filament, which is why the, the change in colors. It um, prints nice, has the same snap action. It just wasn't quite big enough, and I didn't like that. So, on to my next attempt was this one. <coughs> Excuse me. This one has the height I want. Same exact thing. I widened the hinge elements out here so as not to leave that gap. And um, works really good. You slide the um, watch in. And now you have a nice a nice storage box for it that will hold both the watch and your holder. One problem with that I had was I was also thinking of using it as a stand for that. But as you'll notice, that plastic slides awful easy one on the other. So yeah, I could put some rubber or some felt down, but I thought, well, let's see if we can't change our design even a little more. So then I came up with this. This has a you can see it in there it's not the best color for showing that it has a one millimeter deep depression inset in the lid and i wasn't sure how that was going to print but it printed pretty good so now when you set that on there and the inset is i think i made it a half a millimeter around bigger than the base of this that sits in there perfect and now you can move it around without that sliding off so now you have a box that you can use for storage and you can also use the box as a stand, a display stand, when you take it out. 
And that's basically it for this project. This, again, the, the box itself is a remix of this. And the watch holder itself is a remix of this. He has teeth and a guide a guide rail kind of thing in it. And I took the teeth and the guide rail out and I added in tab slots and the um, spring post to hold the spring. But I will give them credit where credit is due. Links to the originals will be below. And I am still going to do the winder and it is still going to use this part or at least a part of this as the part that holds the watch for the winder. I have some pieces here that I bought to do it, but somehow I didn't get exactly what I wanted. Probably my fault, but um, I'm gonna have to rethink that and look at my order and figure out what I needed that I didn't get and get the right stuff and I'll get on to that. But anyway, this is now done. I'm gonna get it up on Thingiverse. And now that it's all tweaked and I have it the way I like it, I'll get it all put up there in the next day or two. And um, I hope you guys with watches will give it a try and see what you think about it. Thank you. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit notifications. And there are some affiliate links below. If you would use them, that would be great. And that's it for today. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.